You've done amazingly well as you've followed along with the seven easy steps to your first mobile data collection project using Kobo Toolbox. So congratulations. Just a quick recap, we covered these seven simple steps. So you created your username and password and set up your Kobo Toolbox account. You installed the Kobo Collect app on your Android. You configured the settings in Kobo Collect. You built your very first questionnaire with the five most common question types. You loaded the questionnaire onto your app and filled it out. You submitted your data and checked it directly in your Kobo Toolbox server. And finally, you invited colleagues to start collecting data too. With these steps, you now have the essential building blocks to confidently manage mobile data collection. And now you're probably wondering, what's next? How do I continue growing my skills? So let's take just a few minutes to talk about exactly that. We have a program designed specifically to help humanitarian teams solve common data challenges. Let's look at a few different scenarios to see if you resonate with any of these. So one, maybe you're a new student or intern or volunteer with an organization and you're tasked with figuring out digital data management. Or two, perhaps you're new to information management, you come from a humanitarian background and you're wondering, but oh, what's all this data stuff? I'm not a data person. Or three, maybe you're already into data, but you're always thinking, oh, I spend too much time cleaning messy data. Or four, maybe you're someone who's got lots of data and you're thinking, I just need dashboards to visualize all this data. Or five, perhaps you're managing a remote team or a register and you need consistent data quality across your teams worldwide. Well, listen, I'm here to first of all validate you. You're on the right track. I've been leading teams in the development and humanitarian sectors for the past 18 years, and there is a direct link between quality program data and the success of a program and organization. Data isn't just a nice to have for an organization. It is a critical component of every team that's trying to be impactful, like really make a difference in the world, and those teams that are accessing funding, okay? Whether that's growing or continuing the funding you already have or accessing brand new funding. Okay, and I want you to remember this one important takeaway, a data system built on good survey data, okay, what I've just started to teach you through this beginner Kobo Toolbox course is the key to increasing your funding and growing your impact organization, okay? Let me repeat that. Survey data, it's the best way to grow your funding, which is one of the only ways to grow your impact. I believe that you and your organization are most likely already doing amazing things. You're already making that impact and you need to be impactful. If you're just out there not making a difference, then, well, maybe your organization shouldn't exist, but that's not you. Nope, I don't think you'd still be here listening to me if that was you. So in order to make others desperate to jump on board and start funding you, start funding that impact that you're already having, you need to first be credible, okay? So you need to be an organization that's impactful, credible, and then fundable. And that growing funding will then increase your impact, which increases your credibility, and in turn, you can increase your funding even further, and on and on. And this is what I call the fundable flywheel. A flywheel is a device um, in a machine that gets a little boost and it starts to spin, um, and the inertia, the momentum, kind of keeps the flywheel turning until the machine gives it another little boost, and every little boost just makes it go faster and faster, and the momentum keeps it spinning. So over time, with just consistently giving little boost after little boost after little boost, this wheel is just a flying, right? Hence, the, the flywheel is the name. And I want your team, your program, and your organization to get on this fundable flywheel. Now, what you might be wondering is, well, Jana, yep, I'm all in on the flywheel. We need more funding and we need to scale our impact, but how do we build that credibility? Well, our Skills Builder program at the Humanitarian Data Academy is our beginner level program that can get you and your team consistent on the data skills that will help build that credibility. But in order for you to get into the Beginner Skills Builder program, you're gonna need to get on over to our waitlist and go through our foundational training masterclass, the Credibility Framework, Leverage Data for Humanitarian Funding. Okay, that link is in the video description, so go click it right now. I have never taught this framework before, okay? This is the mental and practical framework that I've used time and again to turn data into impact through funding growth. So it is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited to walk you through this. I'm gonna take you through the very strategies I've used 
over my career to help multiple organizations grow multi-million dollar funding using what? You guessed it, survey data. I'm gonna walk you through exercises and frameworks that will help you uh, set up for success. And by the end, I want you to be crystal clear on whether the Skill Builder program is gonna be right for you. I am on a mission to help humanitarians and change makers, people who help other people in tough circumstances, gain the foundational skills to start building more credible and more fundable organizations worldwide. And if you're still watching, it is a sign. It's a pretty good sign that this is for you. So you only have one action to go do now, okay? Go get on that waiting list to make sure you're first in line when the doors open to the Skills Builder program. I can't wait to see you then.